If you're thinking about having cataract surgery and wondering which lens implant to pick, then you're at the right place. There are more options for lens implants than ever. We're going to go over the lens options that are available, their pros and cons, and help you decide which lens is right for your eyes. Let's get started. To learn more about modern cataract surgery from some of the leading cataract surgeons in America, and to find a surgeon near you, visit bestcataractsurgeons.com. First, some basics. A cataract is when the natural lens inside the eye becomes cloudy. At some point, it can be like you're looking through a cloudy window. To fix the problem, cataract surgery involves removing this cloudy natural lens and replacing it with a clear prescription artificial implant that can be customized to your eye. There are several types of implants, each offering different benefits. Let's talk about the three different types of lens implants. Monofocal implants, multifocal implants, and extended depth of focus implants. Of course, we all want clear vision, but we also want the greatest range of vision possible. These lenses each focus light in a different way that impacts both the clarity of your vision as well as your range of vision. First, let's talk about monofocal lens implants. Monofocal lens implants are designed to focus light at one distance, either far vision or near vision. Patients can use monofocals in a few different ways. Most commonly, patients can choose to have the monofocal lens implant target distance vision in both eyes. This is designed to give great distance vision for driving, reading street signs, watching television, or seeing a golf ball far away. However, patients should expect to need reading glasses for near and intermediate vision activities. Patients can also choose to have both monofocal lens implants set for near vision. If this is done, you should expect to be able to read without glasses. However, you would be dependent on prescription glasses for your distance vision activities. The last option with monofocal lens implants is called monovision or blended vision. In monovision, one eye is set for distance and the other eye is set for near. Even though there's a difference between the two eyes, when both eyes are open, the brain has a way of blending these two eyes together to effectively give patients more of a range of vision. This is very common in patients who wear contact lenses after the age of 45 or have had LASIK after the age of 45, and it's a great way of minimizing your dependence on glasses after your cataract surgery. Of course, while monovision is great for millions of patients, wouldn't it be better if both eyes could see far away and both eyes could see up close? Sounds like the best option, right? Well, let me introduce you to multifocal implants. As the name suggests, multifocal implants have multiple focal points. They're designed to split light up as it enters the eye into distance and near focal points. The goal is for both eyes to be able to see far away and both eyes to be able to see close up. Sounds like the best option, right? And it is for many patients. However, when the lens implant splits this light up to create its multifocal effect, some of that light gets scattered, which can cause unwanted glare and halo symptoms. For the vast majority of patients who are good candidates, these symptoms are mild and satisfaction rates for these lenses are very high. However, for patients who are not good candidates, they may not be a good idea. Factors that might make a patient a poor candidate for a multifocal implant could be things like advanced macular degeneration or other macular and retinal diseases, corneal scars, severe dry eye, or vision loss from glaucoma. These lenses result in some of the happiest patients after cataract surgery. The most popular multifocal lens on the market right now is the Panoptics lens made by Alcon. It's the first and only trifocal lens implant available in the United States. And as a trifocal, it's designed to not only give excellent distance and near vision, but also that important intermediate range um, where we might work at the computer or dashboard in the car. Lastly, we have extended depth of focus lens implants. A way to think about these implants is that they don't split light up as aggressively as a multifocal implant, so they don't cause as much of the unwanted glare and halo symptoms. However, they also don't give as much near vision. These lenses are designed for patients who prioritize distance and intermediate range activities, such as the computer screen, kitchen countertop, or dashboard in the car, and want to decrease their risk of those nighttime glare and halo symptoms. One of the most popular lenses in the extended depth of focus category is called the Vividi. If you're interested in learning more about the differences between the Panoptics and Vividi implants, check out our video that discusses them with the experts. So that's it. You just learned about the three types of lens implants on the market. Monofocals, multifocals, and extended depth of focus implants. The important thing to remember is that there's no one size fits all lens implant that's the best for everyone. For some patients, a monofocal lens implant will be best, and for others, a multifocal, and yet others, extended depth of focus. In fact, some patients mix and match these lenses with one in one eye and another in the other. For more information on lens implants, as well as some of the specific models like Panoptics or Vividi, check out bestcataractsurgeons.com.